Hello and uh, welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Today I've got a beer uh, for you from Aldi. Um, it's a dry hop lager. It's brewed by Sadlers and it's part of Aldi's Great British Brewing Company range. And this one is a bottle of their Hoptical Illusion. It's a dry hopped lager. Uh, it's coming in at 4.5% ABV in a 330ml bottle. Um, loved the artwork on that one. That is what made me pick it up. They've uh, kind of got like a bit of a spooky wood forest type thing going on. They've used the hops to make out the, the shape of two big eyes and two big nostrils to make like a skull shape. Love that. It's a Hoptical Illusion it's called. Dry Hop Lager. Brewed by Sadlers. And it's part of their Great British Brewing Company range, hence the GB on the bottle cap. Um, it says here, a surprisingly refreshing lager that boasts bewilderingly hoppy aromas of zesty Mediterranean lemons with subtle sweet malts for a full, well-rounded flavour. Looks can be deceiving. Um, does it have any ingredients? It doesn't look like it. Just allergy advice. It contains a gluten sauce, barley, wheat. Yeah, specifically produced for Aldi. This was 99p a bottle, so another cheap one. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about Sadlers. Um, no, I know nothing about Sadlers, if I'm honest. But yeah, it's got Brewed by Sadlers written on the bottle, part of their Great British Brewing Company range. I really like the artwork, and for 99p, I thought, let's have a go. So it's a 4.5% hopped lager. Let's see how hoppy it is. I like the bottle cap on this one. So I don't want to bend it, there we go. Not much in the way of smoke when you're opening on that one. Let's get it into the glass. Very clear looking as it pours. Certainly getting a hoppy nose on that from here. Let's uh, leave that there so we can see the cool artwork. Love that. So there is the Hoptical Illusion. Uh, dry hop lager. It's um, sort of dark gold. It's not the lightest looking lager you'll see. It kind of has a bit of an IPA look about it, um, which would suggest that there is quite a few hops in this one. Unfortunately, it hasn't specified what hops are used. It does says that uh, there's some Mediterranean lemons apparently and a subtle sweet malt flavour. Yeah. So yeah, quite a dark gold looking. Lager, no head on it whatsoever, not massive levels of carbonation. There's literally odd bubble rising up on that, but it's not a lively looking one. It's getting aroma. Yep, quite hoppy. Certainly getting the malts on it as well. Not a massive citrusy aroma on it, but a slight bit. I'm getting more malt than I am citrus. They mentioned the Mediterranean lemons. I'm not really getting that. But I am getting a kind of a sweet toffee malt aroma to it and a bit of hop aroma which has kind of died off now. It's mainly malt I'm getting on the aroma to this one. Let's get a taste. Cheers guys. Slight crisp, very slight, that sort of crisp citrus freshness at the beginning, but straight away the sweet malt come through. Um, certainly quite a quite a, um, a a big toffee flavour on it, and then the hops quickly come in. Um, this is quite good. Slight sort of citrus. There's that toffee malt. Got a slightly sweetness to it. Slightly sweet malt taste to it. Definitely toffee. And those hops come in. It's nicely hopped as well. There's a nice bitterness at the back of it. I like that. And it lingers as well. That hoppiness you're getting. It lingers. Um... It's a bit different for a lager. A 
lots of toffee malt, lots of hops, really refreshing, very drinkable, nice mouthfeel throughout, nice and light, nice and refreshing, good malt flavour, good hoppy profile at the back, it's a tasty beer, it's a good beer, not really getting much of a citrus, yeah, citrus, can't give me words out, not much in the way of citrus, but it's a very fresh, crisp tasting beer, um, if someone said to me this was an IPA rather than a dry hop lager, I would believe that. This has an IPA look about it. It has an IPA taste about it. The only thing that um, I think makes it a lager is the mouthfeel. It's quite thin. It's quite watery. It's very drinkable. There is that crisp freshness at the beginning. But you get that with a lot of IPAs, to be fair. Um, but it's very good. Dry hop lager. Is it 4.5% ABV? This is really good. I'm enjoying this. Big toffee malt flavour. Big hoppy finish. That slight citrus sweetness is there. Sort of blinking, you miss it. And then the malts and the hops almost come in together. You get that sweet toffee malt. And in with it comes the hops. That bitterness from the hops comes in at the same time. And that bitterness from the hops lingers. You can still taste it now. All around the top of my mouth. Back of my tongue. It's pleasant. It's really nice. It's not overly bitter. It's not overly hoppy. It's not going to be. But this is nice. I would drink this again. I would buy this again. Um, this is another really decent beer for 99p as well 99p a bottle as you can see I'm wolfing this down really drinkable really nice nice sweet malt taste to it nice hoppiness to it it makes you want to go back to it that bitterness not overly dry but the bitterness to it makes you want to go back and have another swig hence the reason it's nearly all gone um, that's cracking that's a really good beer. I like that. Love the artwork. Love the price, 99p. Love the malt flavour to it. Love the use of the hops. Um, yeah, not much in the way of citrus. They've gone out of their way to mention that they've got these uh, Mediterranean lemons in it. Um, I'm not getting much in the way of, uh, you know, a crazy lemony flavour. Definitely getting the malts. Definitely getting the hops at the back end. Excuse me. This is really good for the money love the design that's gone into it it's a nicely made beer really good i'm going to give that a solid eight out of ten so eight out of ten for aldi's or saddler's optical illusion dry hop lager really drinkable really nice flavor to it eight out of ten um yeah give it a thumbs up uh, leave your comments below as ever let me know what you're drinking and i'll see you in the next one cheers guys